She's cool. I guess I'm just blind. <laughs> yeah, I've had that for a very long time. That was actually one of the first merch items I got. What's that pillow? I wanted to know how it would look. In here. And she seems happy with that. There's something over here. There it is. VHS tape. Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Oh, I, th huh. I thought that said chiropractor or something or other. Oh, dude, let's take care of her eye. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. Oh. Yeah, we don't need to do it. But just gotta keep it handy, huh? Yeah, dry it out in the desert? That would suck. Snake clamp. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Yeah, yeah that sounds awful. Rattlesnake in a toilet? No, thank you. That would really bite my ass. Bra. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. <laughs> feels kind of awkward. That's funny. Right, we're going to have to check out the laptop. <laughs> it's all good. How you been, man? What's new? What's crazy? What's exciting? Uh, let's look at my tabs. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. Hey, it's Brody. And seeing the good into it. The last time I saw my mother before this year, I was telling her to leave me the fuck alone. That I was done with the whole bullshit family. My real fam were the strangers I met on the road who become friends, not my family, who become strangers. I adapted all the online connections I made around the world and all those wandering souls, souls that I would encounter on my journeys ahead. You would be, you'd be reading about them right now, except the next time I saw my mother, she was in hospice care at her Utah home. Her body light and frail as a web holding my hand and telling me that she was sorry about everything that kept us apart for most of my adult life. My mom was dying of cancer and she was sorry. So I cried. She cried. My brother cried. We all cried. And all the years of family bullshit blew away to dust. Like that. Finger snap sand. I just wasn't mad anymore. I didn't know it would be so easy or so hard. It didn't mean it didn't mean the past didn't happen or that I wasn't responsible in my own way. My brother used to tell me I was like a fake liberal because I was out trying to save the world. He had to take care of mom and the family estate. Maybe he was right. But I told him that he also had the money to take care of them. God damn, if I was in charge of the finances, I would have given away the family estate and we'd be, we'd be broke living in a co-op. My brother knows this. Families are just fucking weird. Soci society tells us to love your parents and siblings simply out of blood and chance. But what if you hate each other? What if you're only linked by random DNA? What if? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I've seen the best and worst of people everywhere I roll. You tend to have those extremes at 3 a.m. at an empty gas station or some desolate freeway. Yes, I've seen strong families bond in hard times. I know there are big siblings out there who always care for their little siblings and vice versa. Do they help me to understand our fragile filial ecosystem? In her lost hours, my brother and I held my mom's thin fingers as she passed onto a place I hope is better than the one she came from. After she was gone, I found a stash of some old school essays and stories the only thing I was good at in school. I never knew she kept the stuff or that she cared. Even if we never understood each other, she must have had been a little proud that I went on my own way and tried to be a force for good. Mothers know how to make you cry like a little bitch. <laughs> the first time tears had burned my eyes in a long time. It felt good. So now I've come back to a home I once vowed to never return. I don't feel so alienated this time, even if I still am. Like I say too often, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. Now I have an estate to deal with and more responsibility than I actually want. But I have to see this as karma or destiny or the dharma of the privileged. Don't panic, but I may be taking a break from my life on wheels just to see what, or who or what I can help. Now I have more resources to spread around. I'm sure my brother will approve, insert sarcasm, if, he's still, if we're still taking after all this memorial bonding. Okay, I'm not a happy... It's not a happy ending, but maybe it's a hopeful one. And speaking of hope, given the sad state of this sad nation, I've been thinking it's time to move outside my comfort zone. Send dispatches from places and people I'm not so familiar, familiar with. Places I can explore to tell new stories from like Canada or Mexico or the road never ends. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. 
Oh, uh, did they forget? Yeah, we didn't talk to her. That's rough. Lila, me during the day, all good, under control, me at 3 a.m. in my bed. Lila Park uploaded a new profile picture. Lila, I hope nobody's mad I've been out of touch. Brain needed a timeout. Yes, it can happen to me too. People are such pussies about mental health. Just talk and take care of each other, for fuck's sake. Thanks for the flowers. I cried, assholes. Lila is back. Adam Barnes, hold up. I'm swinging by. Lila Park waiting for you. Dang. Miss my friends. Hey, it's a wolf picture. Can't remember if I told you I got promoted. Heck yeah, dude! Congratulations, my guy. How are you doing with that? Like, is it awesome promotion? Making them big bucks. It's continuing the gift sub. I'm very confused. I got an alert, but I got no alert. All right, Crimson, you're going to have to tell me what you just did. My USB Whoa. have... I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Is my flash drive going to have virus on it? Dang, that's a sad thing. There's the hot dog man. He's doing the finger game. We just lost. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Check USB key. Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive. Weeks Use ago. USB. What's the difference? Whoa. Hey, Lila always knew how to What's the difference between out? check and use? It's the same thing. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Why is there two? I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. Heck yeah, seeds. <sighs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. Hi, Karen. Thanks for your late last advice home. We got a quite response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insights. Looking forward to your next piece. Please make sure to send your invoice for May and June. I don't get the difference between check and use. That's weird. You subbed. You subbed. How come it didn't give me the sub sound? You know what? We gotta get we gotta get you up on the wall of power. That's weird. Or me oh, you know why? I should bring the telescope back to art and no, stand before. That's not why. I have no idea. What color do you want, sub or sub? I can't speak. What color do you want, crimson? I'm missing one. There it is. Pink, blue, yellow, orange, or yellow, green, or orange. It was a tier two. Why the heck did it not go off? Why the heck did it not go off? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me see. Maybe Streamlabs hasn't picked it up yet. Let's see. Refresh. Yeah, it didn't pick it up. It still says tier one. For 226. Oh, you know what? Okay, I understand. I understand what's happening. Okay. So it says you continued it, but it hasn't rolled over yet. So the alert hasn't happened. That's when the alert will happen. I got you. I got you. Yeah, you just kind of piggybacked off of it. And once the gift sub expires, yours will kick in. And that's when the alert will happen. All right. Crisis averted. And I accidentally closed chat. Uh, no, I didn't. I'm just losing my mind. We're good. Sarah, how's it going, friend? Cookie time. Cookie time. Those are the sub ones. I gotta move I those. Know. Want some yeah. cookies? Give me cookies. They thank you for the cookies. Yum. Yum. You dropped it again. They thank you for cookies. Yum. Also, friends, I don't remember what the, the layer of it is, but check your emotes. You might have a new one. Because, uh, new things just got released for affiliates. All right. Crops. Dude, she is growing some. Mm. Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Excuse me. 
Water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Mm. Maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. You can literally play with anything, huh? Kids got a crazy good imagination. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. Hey, that <laughs> one, yeah! Karen likes to join us too. Nice! <laughs> Noob cake. No crap. It's nice to play games. I didn't mean to click on that. <laughs> Gift. Still can't believe she's kept it. It's broken. Sentimental, she's keeping it even though it's fucked. I want to look. Karen taught me some cool off the grid shit. Oh, cool. Can we hang out up here? Get some panoramic scenic viewage. Mamas. Hey. Hey, I hear you chomp chomping. Oh, it's draw time. Whenever I say that, it sounds like a uh, blues clues mail time. Mail time. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. That was quick. Is it not done? Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Oh, I need to check my um. Got a good picture of it. My journal. I'm See, ready to draw now. Pretty sure I got a bunch more information in there. Draw wolf pack. Draw a biomechanical fantasy wolf pack. I need to train my visual memory even harder. That thing is creepy. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Cool. You see the ears at the bottom? It's like at a perspective. That's pretty sweet. Or a point of view, not perspective. Here we go. Now I can see why Karen lights it out here. Look at the reflection in his eye. Holy crap. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. Yeah, he's calling her mom. I still don't know how I feel. Daniel's fucking with something over there. You see that thing floating? <laughs> I'm all fidgety. I'm very thirsty. I don't have anything down here to drink. <laughs> These metal statue things are uh, a little unnerving. What happened to his eye? Um, long story short. Uh, we went to escape from something and Daniel exploded pretty much everything in a cabin and he got a glass shard to the eye. And uh, then we got to the hospital, then we had to escape it. On shen shenanigans. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Oh, yes. Then I could be Stormboy fighting vampires. Sucks that we can't get food coloring out here. Zomboy fighting vampires. Got some stickers. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Yeah, pirate plants. Achievement unlocked She-Wolf. Okay. Hopefully there's like invisible walls around here because this could feasibly take a long time to observe. 
Guess people came here with ease and never left. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. That's true. He probably builds all kinds of stuff. Chewan can throw a total rager at you, <laughs> but without asshole neighbors. Oh, they're talking to Daniel. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. <laughs> Thanks. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. I was gonna say, are they actually on the grid? Joanne says she needs wow. all this junk to go. I didn't think they'd be on the grid. From. Ooh. Yo, did sorry. Ooh. Karen and Joanne. Oh, Fragger, if you're still here, my dude. Chatting. Uh, how was uh, like the rest of the Warcraft game? Did you finish it? Back in the day. Movie theater. That's pretty cool. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> you can't dance, dude. Love the energy out here. With everyone building stuff as they please. Yeah, this one. Oof. This one gives me the heebies. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars as david calls it giant vacuum with binoculars swap box it's so cool that people want to give a second life oh yeah that's stuff. cool it's not swap box it's swap box never finished it oh no is did you get bored or what happened David always wants to help, but he's tough. They to get theirs now. in a few days, so <laughs> you are boss, my dude. <laughs> you took Fragger out just before he got back. I hope the UFOs are listening. I saw a thing. There he goes. David always wants to help. But he's tough to figure out. I want some heckin' waffles, man. This part okay. of town is invisible wall. Time of year. I should stay around here. Hey, look, they let him just do art everywhere. That's awesome. Don't do bad, hey. please. Your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. I don't have an answer. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. I can't answer. It's not giving me the option. I, I just can't wait for us to hang out again. Why couldn't I answer? That was weird. I've seen some shit. <laughs> that dog. Morning, Sean. Morning. Morning Who said that? Oh, hey. I'll give you your thing in a minute. Ooh, look at that. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. Me neither. Makes me think of the radish spirit from Spirited Away. Just... <sighs> Better stay home. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Oh. Look at that. 
I thought there was. Where's Daniel? He's desert. off playing with the the junk apparently, and someone's talking to him. I heard him talking. 